this week's Miami Proud. We feature it falls on International Holocaust Remembrance Day of the six million Jews murdered. Half of them were Polish. Yeah, and we have a special story of mm -hmm. how a Miami teacher on a cleaning spree connected one man with a treasure trove of family photos as well as rare mm -hmm. artifacts dating back for decades. CBS 4's Lauren Pastrana shares a remarkable tale of lost and found. Hi, David. Hi, Sylvia. Good to see you again. These two could be detectives working on unraveling a mystery. There's a lot to still figure out. Still a lot to figure out. David Semmel is a retired investor from Indiana who's been researching his family tree for about 25 years now. My whole mother's side is from the town of Przemysl in Poland. Um, when they left, it was part of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Most of my family came over in the uh, early part of the of the 20th century and, and came to America and avoided the Holocaust. Sylvia Espinosa Schrock is an art history teacher in Miami. But 30 years ago, as a student in New York City, she acquired a box of black and white photos in the East Village. Then, like many in 2020, she was doing some pandemic inspired cleaning and rediscovered this curious collection. My goal was to one day give this to the family because this was too precious for it to just disappear. She poured through the many photos, searching a name on one, Mooney Getter. She connected with David's blog, and there was the same photo of David's great aunt's husband. That was the connecting photo. Thanks to David's work researching the Polish town of Pszemysl, sparked from his visit there in 2003. Both of my mother's parents are from there, and their families are from there. Sylvia immediately sent David scans of the photos. The first thing I saw was a picture of my mother when she was 16. Wow. And that got my attention, as you can imagine, in a big way. Yes. Incredulous to have found the right person, she shipped him the whole box. Discovering what she had kept safe all these years was a shock. The added significance that most of these people were murdered, you know, in the Holocaust. I, I, you know, I didn't see, know that when I picked it up. Each image adding detail and context to David's relatives' lives. And we only knew Chaya, Aunt Chaya. She wasn't real. She was, she was the aunt that was killed in the Holocaust. And all of a sudden, she became real. Yeah. And that was, that was a really, yeah. um, that, that was, that was just amazing. Amazed and overwhelmed. Some were so painful to look. There were yeah. you know, family pictures of, of outings and picnics, and they were dated 1939 in Poland. And you just know, yeah. you know, these people had a year or two left to live. And that yes. was it. In the collection are rare images of imprisoned Jews in a French internment camp. David has donated the photos to the U.S. Holocaust Memorial Museum, where they will remain part of the permanent record. They lived a life. They, they loved, they, they had children, they played, they drank, they smoked, they did, you know, real human things. It's an important way to remember the Holocaust. Lauren Pastrana, CBS News, Miami. CBS 4's Miami Proud is sponsored by FPL. At FPL, we're always planning, preparing, and investing in an energy future Florida can depend on. See how at fpl.com slash value.